Hey everybody, I'm Matt Weaver, Executive Chef at the Campbell Club. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen here on Hometown TV. Today we're going to make a fennel crusted pork chop with a sautéed potato and a little mustard cream sauce. I've got a brined pork chop here. This is from Waddlington and Sons here in Owensboro, so it's hormone free, antibiotic free. I'm just crusting it with these big fennel seeds. Fennel is a delicious flavor. It's a little anise kind of sweet. It's the main flavor profile that you taste in Italian sausage. Since I've brined this pork chop already, I'm not going to put any salt on it. I'm just getting it really good with the pepper and the fennel. Just a little bit more, just for extra flavor. All right, my pan here, I'm going to use some clarified butter. Make sure it's nice and hot. You can see the rippling in the oil, and that tells you right away that, you're, that you've got some good heat. Down on my pan. That sizzle is exactly what you want to hear. Now, I'm going to start my sauce as well. A little more clarified butter. This is a really easy sauce, not hard at all. You've got a little bit of garlic, a little bit of shallot. I'll let that go. Just sweeten up in the oil. Now, go ahead and get some more clarified butter. And what I'm going to do is I have a leftover potato. This is great to do with leftover baked potatoes. I'm just going to cut it in half, smash it a little bit just to break the skin and create a little bit of extra texture. I throw it in my hot oil here. The potato is going to get nice and crispy and since I left it kind of fat and chunky it's still going to kind of stay smooth and creamy on the inside too. Right. So my shallot and garlic are working pretty good pork is getting nice and hot. Once I start to see a little bit of color on my shallot and garlic here, I'm going to go ahead and add white wine. Be careful adding wine or any alcohol into a pan because it will catch on fire. Some wines have a little bit higher alcohol content in them, but they don't always flare up white wine so it is. And this is just chicken stock that we make here in house. Using a brown mustard, works well with just a Dijon. Let that simmer and just reduce for a little while. Add a little bit of, just a little pinch of salt and a little pinch of pepper too. My potatoes are still bubbling, frying up nicely. I'm gonna add some rosemary into the pan. I'll let that infuse into the oil and that's gonna get nice and crispy on those potatoes too. All right, my pork, back to it. Good golden brown color. All right, let's see the fennel. It's got what the oil has done to it. The fennel is toasting and it's enhancing the flavor. It's infusing into the pork chop. And on this pork, I'm only going to cook it to about 140 degrees because any more pork you can cook safely to uh, 145 is a safe temperature. I'll, I'll cook it to 140 and I'll let it rest. And in that resting time, it'll cook up to the 145 degrees. That'll make the pork nice and juicy. Once you cook it too far, that's when you uh, that's when you end up with dry pork chopping. Nobody likes that. All right. See, I'm getting this color on these potatoes. Now, when I roasted these, I didn't cook them until they were super tender and falling apart. I cooked it just until they pierced easily with the pork. That way, you know that they're done. You know that when you throw it in the pan here, it's not going to turn just into mashed potatoes. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. Just gonna let that sit and just keep doing its thing for a little bit longer. Now, our sauce over here is still reducing. And once that's finished, we're gonna finish it with a little bit of mascarpone cheese. That gives it a little extra creaminess, a little extra sweetness. The mascarpone cheese is a, basically an Italian cream cheese. It's a little bit sweeter though, and not quite as uh, tart as uh, our our cream cheese. Uh, I like finishing sauces with it because it uh, adds a little extra creamy flavor and without adding the tang of the cream cheese. But you can use uh, regular cream cheese and it will still be pretty tasty. Alright, all my potatoes finished, we'll move them off of the heat here. You can make this sauce bigger, smaller. You can uh, change it up a little bit if you don't like mustard. You could add some tomato paste or something like that. Give it a little bit more of an Italian flavor. Now you can see 
all the bubbles on the outside means it's starting to get thick and all that moist extra water inside is evaporating and this, the flavor is intensifying. Go ahead and add the cream cheese to it. Swirl it around. When you add some kind of a cheese or cream to a sauce like this to finish it, you don't really want to let it boil because that can uh, break, down the, break down the cheese and you kind of lose some of the flavor and it's just not quite as tasty. So just let that go. Drop the heat down once the cheese melts. I'm just going to let it simmer just until it's the right thickness and the right viscosity for the sauce. You can see already the color of the sauce has changed entirely. It looks a little bit creamier, but it's still going to have that nice pungency from the mustard and the deliciousness from the shallot and the garlic. I'm going to go ahead and pull my pork chop out of here. Finished it in the oven just because I want it to cook evenly. I don't want, uh, since I cooked it at such a high temperature, to get that golden on the outside. If I had left it in the hot pan for the entire time, it probably would have got too brown and uh, almost burned. That's absolutely not what we want. All right. You can tell the sauce, we're getting a lot of extra, extra bubbles. It's getting thick, and that's exactly what I want. Get my plate. Put my potatoes down first, because I like to. Uh, Put my proteins on top of my side items, and that way, when the uh, big steak or the potato or the chicken or whatever it is, whenever the juices run, they run down on top of the potato and just enhance that flavor even more. Pork. And lastly, our sauce. There you go. It's beautiful, easy to prepare. Use up a leftover potato. Very tasty dish. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen. I'm Matt Weaver with the Campbell Club. Enjoy.